We're not sponsored by um, We're not sponsored by Highland Springs. Highland Springs. For if Highland Springs would like spring to water, sponsor us naturally from Scotland's please Oakle Hills. Email us at words, words without, without wisdom. Without no, knowing the no wisdom. No wisdom. W I S it's not very advertiser friendly either, is it? As well as user friendly as an email, it's not I was looking at you, I was not looking <laughs> at you. As an email, it's not particularly advertiser or user friendly. Where are the Oakle Hills? I want to say like Perthshire. It doesn't say. It's just definitely in Scotland. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Words Without Wisdom podcast, which I'll put my bottle down today, comes to you from a bench in, in a the park. park. In the park. The park. The park. The park. And if there are any teas around, that would make it tea in the park. That wasn't a good joke. Yeah, that so was, you might be wondering, uh, for, so for, yeah, for all you audio listeners, and you're thinking the audio quality is massively different, you can hear birds, you can hear a river, we're actually on a bench in a park right now. Uh, so make sure if you're listening to this on Spotify and you want the full experience, go down to the link in the description and there will be a link to the YouTube channel. Uh, there you can watch the video footage, uh, obviously, of this. Um, it's not the most professional setup we've got, is it? It's, it's the least professional setup I think we've got. But it is a lovely day here. Maybe we shouldn't say we're in a park. Let's say we're in a highly, a really expensive soundstage in Milton Keynes. In a highly secret location, in a, in a studio. This is in all Milton green Kings. screen, this is all in Milton Keynes, this is yeah. all excellent green screen, it's all, you know, we're actually, this is a very perfect, we're, all this is added in, it's all, it's all adds to the atmosphere. There are children up there. There are children up there. Um, so, don't wave at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, to talk you through our surroundings a little bit more, uh, that we are in front of a river, so if you can hear a river, that's what that is. There's a bench with ladybugs on it. Um, but we came out here basically because it's a really nice day and we thought we didn't really want to be stuck inside for our recording. He's staring suggestively at the camera. I'm not, you don't know they where probably, I'm looking. I'm wearing probably, sunglasses. Well, I can see where you're last one thing. They probably, they, you can't <laughs> see where you're looking. All of both can. of you can All see where I'm looking. All of the people who are, who are watching. No, but um, yeah, so we thought make use of the, of the day, come out, maybe it'll... We want more views, is what we want. We want mm -hmm. views and we want lessons, and this is an exciting way to get them. People may come along this path, uh, and if they do, the camera will cut because we're too, <laughs> <laughs> we're too awkward to, um, <laughs> or to we be should, sociable. Or we should like invite them in and be like, or we should rank them, we should do Shilton's hottest dog People walkers. walking by. Yeah. Now you've mentioned hottest, so you might as well get it straight out of the way with. It's time for another episode, the seventh episode. Oh, we're on a roll here of America's Hottest Politicians. Good music. Welcome to America's Hottest Politicians with Matthew Lyon and Evan Dixon. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna double this up. It's still recording. Woo! <laughs> um, um, so, so would, yes. Would, so welcome to America's Hottest Politicians. Uh, Evan, would you like to tell us, me and everyone, uh, who this week's hottest politician is? Well, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to have to do from memory, because I don't have any... Yeah, we don't have I don't, access I don't have to any prompt. Intent. This I is how you to, have to do I it in to, the real podcasting I world. meant to print off sheets of his Wikipedia page, but I left them in the printer. Anyway, this week, if I can remember right, because I did briefly read his Wikipedia page when I was doing this week's candidate selection. You mean selection. you don't know your candidates intimately and thoroughly at all times prior to he, even the existence of the podcast? Don't expose me. <laughs> this is No, this is a highly professional podcast. Of course I know it all off by heart. Okay. He He's currently a United States Senator from the state of Virginia. Previously served as Governor of Virginia, Virginia and, Lut and Lieutenant Governor of Virginia. He was also the Democratic nominee for Vice President in 2016. And his name is Tim Kaine. Timothy Kane. Timothy Kane. Timothy Kane. I don't think, 
I think he's, I think he, you know, for me, personally, subjectively, quite, a, you know, quite a cute man. Quite a cute man. Quite a cute man. So what, um, in terms of our, before I chime in, in terms of our three categories, how do you rank him? Gage? So, for looks, Mr. Kane gets a six. six. And for charm, Mr. Kane gets a six. And, uh... Matthew will insert his ideology score and his, uh, Oh yeah, I can put them on the screen. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well then forget... So if you're... If I don't you... know if it was six and six. Here are his stats. So if you're a listener... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. You don't get to see this. Watch it on YouTube, come on. Give it a listen on the podcast, um, on Spotify or wherever you get your podcast, and then go down in the description and watch it on YouTube. That is the optimal place to watch it. Um, so I did... Obviously, I've had, I know Tim Kane and I've had a look at, uh, I was looking at his picture just before we came out here. And if you are sitting watching this just now and you aren't someone who knows us, um, which a few of you might be, go to Google and type the name John McGee into, uh, into Google and pair that with a picture of Tim Kane. Uh, John McGee, if, if you need to find him, is a local councillor. Uh, in Scotland, and um, that's the only information I'm going to give you, um, just so as not to expose. No, yeah, of course us. not. We don't want to expose our location to the. Uh, well, we, well, we don't live in his ward. <laughs> I do. No, you do too. No, yeah, but. Oh no, we don't. I was trying not to give away our location. Well, he's fucked that up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cut it. N- no, okay. but um, yeah. So put those two pictures side by side, and you will see what I mean when I say that he very much looks like. Councillor John McGee of the uh, ward that, or of Anik and whatever ward. And uh, this is the river behind us, by the way. That out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not tell people on the internet where we live. The river's a long river. Is it? Where does it go? Where does it go? We briefly entered up this segment of (laughs) Hot or Not to bring you where does the river start? Where does it go? end? I don't know. I don't really know what it is. It's, a, is, is it's it an just, area. It's, it's not really a... But like, is, it, is, the, is the area named after the river or is the river named after the area? It's an interesting question. Well, we don't have Actually, the answer to it because we don't have computers with us. Well, if we do, you, we're if using you know it. where the river starts and ends, please email us at... Words without wisdom at gmail.com. No in the wisdom. Words without W-I-S-D-M at gmail.com. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. That's basically... I, I, he's like... It's not attractive to me, certainly, um, but I do think he looks like Councillor John know. McGee, and that's basically my only takeaway from him at this point in time. Uh, let's not be, and I'm, you know, let's not be too. Um, that's not to say, by the way, just to cover our bases, that Evan is in any way attracted to Councillor John McGee. We must make that presently clear. It's just that I think he looks like him, but Evan. Yeah, and I'm not, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to judge you for. Our, because that would be weird for reasons that you couldn't possibly understand, podcast <laughs> listener. The wonderful world of the politics. <laughs> yeah, the wonderful world. It's, it's politics, that's what it is. Did like. we talk about Paul Ritter? We should have. Incidentally, when... I, I can't remember who it was that informed me that Paul Ritter died. But I immediately thought Paul Rudd. <laughs> that would be... And I was... Fitting. You know, marginally more shocked. Well, I was extremely shocked. Um, I, to because I was like Paul Paul, Paul Rudd can't Paul be dead. Rudd, he's like fifty five. And then, well, I, so, so was I, Paul then Ritter. I saw that Paul Rudd was trending on Twitter, but it just happened to be Paul Rudd's birthday that day, Ooh. which was a weird coincidence. Yeah. So I'm very angry. You don't know who Paul Rudd is, by the way. He's just an actor. Universe. He's an actor who he was in, who died recently. He was in Friday Night Dinner. He was in Chernobyl, which I didn't watch, but I know he was in. Um, I've, he's been in he would, he's, he's been in, in lots hunt, of stuff yeah, you know and like one thing that I've watched yeah only yeah we're really bad at uh, uh, well um, you watch things from the 50s yeah and I watch things that probably he isn't in also mm. things from the 50s I watched welcome to the Word Without Wisdom movie review I, I watched um, a, 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 a film noir called In a Lonely Place the other night Humphrey Bogart and Gloria Graham. Gloria Graham, excellent actress. Terrible, terrible in Oklahoma. Terrible in Oklahoma. Should have gone to Mitzi Gaynor. And these are the hot, modern, up-to-date, fresh takes you get on the Words Without Wisdom podcast. How, what, which Oscars was that? 
1953, her there best, we go. she, won, she won Best Supporting Actress. Oh, I don't think she won for Oklahoma. Oh, well. But she won Best Supporting Actress in, fif in 53. These are our hot and takes. Go and check out Gloria Graham's Best Supporting Actress speech. Hot. It's fantastic. Fresh takes on the 1953 <laughs> Oscars from the Words of It Wisdom podcast here. Um, I didn't think this through. Do you think I have wisdom? These are words without wisdom. These are words without wisdom, yeah. Welcome back to, to the podcast. Knee slap. <laughs> knee slap. Welcome back to the podcast outside of a podcast that was now movie reviews. I don't Talking know. Talking about John Point is, Rudd. Ritter. Paul, we're back John, to... Not John Ritter. Paul Ritter. <laughs> John Ritter's already dead. And now we're back to Tim Kaine. <laughs> yes. And who we, we again did not achieve consensus. I think hot. And I think not. Now let's go back to the main podcast outside of the podcast, which also contains a podcast section segment it's already cut let's now. just end <laughs> you've been listening to america's hottest politicians with matthew lyon and evan dixon did you introduce the main section probably a bunch of people just walked past so it probably cut but um Wait, she looked like fiona bruce she's just there what <laughs> on yeah, uh, they both had lovely Fiona dogs. Bruce. They both had lovely dogs, though. So Fiona Bruce, we, if you're rate, watching. we rate those dogs ten out of ten because they're dogs mm -hmm. and they're amazing. Uh -huh. those dogs get a those dogs get a ten on the looks, <laughs> ten on the charm, ten on the probably charm. ten on the policy because they're dogs. Policy. Their their policy is eat stick, go chase, go run, eat rabbit or I bird. The dogs will just poo. Eat. The dogs bring birds. No, I think that's more of a cat thing. Yeah, if you have cats. Or dogs, let us know what they bring home at Words Without, without wisdom. wisdom at gmail.com, not own the wisdom. Words without. W I S D N at gmail.com. Um, so, anyway, when we were well, scouting yeah, for a so location we to film for a, tonight, a bench to sit on, we came across, we came across this, one, this one. And we chose just it specifically for two we? things. One, what? I don't know which one of us was repeating from the other <laughs> one. <laughs> one, lovely backdrop. Yeah. Um, nice. Is it, is it lovely? I don't know. Tell us, email us. No. Um, but we also, if Evan moves out of the way a second, found this lovely sticker on this bench, which says, you won't be able to read it, I'm not bringing the camera closer. It says Men in 1941. 41, and it's got a picture of, I don't know, but it looks a bit like Sylvester Stallone, maybe. And it says, what does it say? I can't even read it Facing an here. almost certain death. Facing an, oh, is it like a, oh, is it someone going to war? I think so. Presumably. Right, facing it's an almost... It's not Sylvester Stallone. Certain death. Nothing to do with Rocky. Someone going to war. And then it's next to it, men in 2021. And it's what's clearly me, <laughs> because they have the same hair, wearing a mask and saying, facing 99.9% recovery rate. And a single tear coming from his eye. So it's essentially an anti-masker sticker on this lovely... Ladybird bench, and when we stand up, when we leave here, I, we're going to try and burn it. Not the bench. The, no, we're not going to burn it. We're going to try and. Get, I'm going to try and get rid of it because that's just horrible. No freedom of expression. Fuck off! It's my bench. <laughs> it does, however, have a link to a website. You can go to the website, which is t.me/slash/join-the-white-rose. And if you would like to go to that website, you can do that. Can it's a Telegram. Is it a disc? What? The White Rose. I don't have Telegram. Oh. It's a Telegram account. Actually, I think it's... Is that not one of those alt-right Twitter things? Like, Parlour or something? Is it not a Twitter alternative? Is it? I don't know. You just googled White Rose. That's not... Was that not at the top? A non-violent extremist something or other? A non-violent intellectual resistance group in Nazi Germany led by a group of students from the University of Munich. Munich? In Nazi Germany? No, but a resistance group. Yeah, but... Why is there a sticker for a Nazi Germany resistance group on this park bench? Clearly, and why does it? So that, what are they comparing masks to? So they're fascism. Yes, probably. They're probably comparing masks to fascism. Well, that's not sure I agree with that. Not sure we know what's what's going if on. If you put this sticker here and you would like to debate us, please don't. Can I just point out by the way we both got tested before we did this and. Obviously, and we both came back positive. This so is we're... yeah. No. This is an interest. Do you ever find that you're watching, you watch YouTube videos or whatever it is? They always they say we both got tested, but they never say what the result was. Or, it's or often if... even what the test was for. True, we got tested for our A level, really... G, yeah, our, yeah, our yeah. A level maths, our A level GCSE maths. 
We don't know what right English qualifications. English qualifications. What the hell are they about? Well, here's the thing. I've heard right, or I've picked up that GCSE is essentially equ- there are birds flapping over there. It's really distracting. GCSE is a- essentially equivalent to Nat Five. Uh huh. Is that right? I think so. But A A levels are equivalent to advanced higher because they're like yeah, because they do like they only do like three yeah, and I've heard they're like super hard and like. But then, what's an A star? Like, is that a qualification or is that a grade? No, an A star is a grade. It's like an A plus. Right, because I like. There's no need for an A star. It just distinguishes intelligent people from super intelligent people, and that's just unnecessary and a bit mean. And and really, like, it's not a very clear dislike. Yeah. Like, the, I like the band system that we have, where there's a band uh-huh. 1 and a band 2A, so you you can feel in your set, you know, yeah. if you want to feel, oh, I've, I've, you know, I've achieved an even higher thing than just a normal A, you can feel that but for yourself, in the real but world, it doesn't affect how mm. other people view if they don't know. <laughs> yeah, because in the real world, Cause if it you has absolutely a, no bearing on anything, uni, work, no one cares. Yeah, it's either an A or not an A. It, like, it, doesn't. it doesn't even show in your certificate, you have to like... Request to find out. Yeah. So, I like that because if you like if you want to know, did I achieve better, like a, a very good mark, you can know that and you can feel that you uh-huh. achieved a certain grade, like an A star. But you haven't. But you you know people who are not like super intelligent, but they're still intelligent enough. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. Of course, then that means that usually what happens in Scotland is that how if if there are people with lots of A's, how they're differentiated from each other is the number of A's. Because, yeah. for example, the standard usually is fi- at higher, uh, which is the level we've done, is five higher. So you do five hires usually. Uh, like, the average people would do five hires. But in private schools, where they have, like, they can pay for much better teachers and equipment and books and things, they do six, sometimes even seven hires. So if they get A's in all of them, or even, like, two B's or something, they've instantly got more qualifications. Uh-huh. And the way that it works in... It's kind of less about if you do five A's, even though they're all A's, it's it's less than five A's and two B's, which kind of makes sense. But also, kind of doesn't it just because doesn't make the way it is is each grade you get is a number, a certain number of points, called um, S C F Q Z L F S C Q F is the Scottish Z S C Q F points or something. And, Scottish and they are kind of how it just they have standardized they have, yeah something. I don't know what they're fucking. I don't. I probably. They don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're fucking. Just stop looking around. And be like, I <laughs> I'm like. I just like nature. No, I don't. I hate uh, this. I'm gonna sit. I back have on, I'm gonna sit back on this bench. I keep sitting back and then thinking that I'm not. Because we've been sitting forward a lot, I know. and it's gonna look bad. But here we are. <laughs> look how dirty my trainers are. Worlds without wisdom audience. We're gonna enjoy nature. This is a special episode. So I don't think, yeah, I don't think it has to be, we were kind of worried, I think, we're going to reveal all in this episode, we were worried that it wouldn't be as good, you know, but I yeah. think, this I, hope ep- people don't, I hope people don't start requesting that we do all of them outside, because that would just be, I think, it would be <laughs> I think it would be good though to do, maybe like once COVID is over, we could maybe do them in person a bit more often, Yeah. and film it like that, because I think it, it, it lends itself to better conversation generally, because you can pick up on visual cues uh-huh. as well as Both of you to ones. assume COVID will be over ever oh yeah in 2020 that, re- that reminds nine. me of something that I need to tell you when we finish recording mm. okay this is a se- intriguing <laughs> secrets for the words of the wisdom podcast uh, we have personal lives oh, we have personal lives and news to me I've never heard of them oh there are interesting acorns around here what's your favourite type of tree that one <laughs> I like that one Oh, the actually, were... there's a good point. Are they... So, this is really bad for, for audio and visual listeners, but in front of a... Uh, <laughs> in front of... Listeners? In front of us, we have a bunch of trees. There's essentially a, a forest or a wood in front of us. Um, and I'm just... This, so there's this tree here, which is sort of a big, thick tree. But then there's this one here, which is sort of lots of little trees. Are they all different trees? Or is that one tree that's grown up into lots of different... Well, they have different leaves. Is it snowing? No, there's just things coming <laughs> off the trees. <laughs> Sorry, these... I'll, I'll take this up to the camera. I'll go, I'll go these are the ones you see there. These are the 
these were falling off the trees because something disturbed them. And I thought it was snowing for a second. <laughs> and I was like, how, what are the chances oh, of Oh, well, I was hearing them before. I don't know if, like, maybe you can get a shot of me, like, looking around frantically. I thought there was squirrels. Yeah, I was also hearing them as well, yeah. I thought it was, like, squirrels or birds or... That's what happens when you... F the dynamic things that happen when you film outside. Indeed. If you do enjoy this, though, I think if people enjoy this more... Or not yeah. more. If people enjoy this, we could do more sort of one-off... Because essentially, I, I thought this idea, and I stole this idea, I thought this idea, I stole this idea from um, a YouTube channel called Matt and Tom, Tom Scott, who you've probably heard of, which is, <laughs> is a really great channel, and they used to do this series called The Park Bench, where they'd go to the park, to a park bench, like lots of different whatever, and record stories, and, and, and tell stories and tell facts and things about, I mean, like Tom Scott videos that they'd done or something, because they worked together on, what has happened? Oh. It's locked, so it... Oh, how nice. Matthew hasn't owned an iPhone in like three years. I know. They suck. I mean, they're good for this. The, the Android doesn't have a built-in voice memos app for some reason. Really? No. But then you can download a plethora, a plethora yeah. of third-party ones, so why would you want one? I know. That's the thing. I it's like, like, a, I like want... a native voice recorder app, though. That's essentially the difference between... If we're doing the difference between iPhone and Android now. That's essentially the difference between iPhone and Android. Well, I, you know, like... Is, I feel like in like four feet it was the other way about. You had, you had like an iPhone SE or like five S. Uh huh. One of the. Tiny it was an ones. SE. I and had I a, a, and I refused to part with it. I had a Huawei. Yeah. Honor eight. Uh huh. I was, I, you know, I coveted the iPhone. I liked. See, this is actually this is an interesting discussion. I um, oh, you wanted an iPhone. I coveted the iPhone. Oh, right, okay. I, I. I thought I you just, were going to say you were entrenched in your. Your Android ways. No, you wanted an iPhone. Oh, was, I wanted an iPhone. It was, it's, it's, I don't know what it was. Well, I'll tell you what it was. The back flash on my Android, two things, and they were both related to Snapchat. One, the back flash was crap. It like didn't flash at the right time, so the lighting quality, which is not good on like back camera photos. Back camera photos. And also the font on Snapchat on an Android phone is different. Oh, it's, yeah, it's different on each phone though. Yeah, well the iPhone one generally is like tighter. Also emojis look so much better on iPhone. iPhone, I'll give you that. iPhone emojis do look better. Cause like... I mean they're the ones you see the most really. Yeah. And and it's kind of why they look... And they're all sort of very standardised. Mm -hmm. In a way that the and other ones kind of aren't. I, I don't mind, I don't really use emojis so I don't mind them on my phone but... I think back when you were talking about NS, NS3, which is, what for us, three years ago now? We're old. Um, three years. People are 40 will be like, I don't know, three, three years is not a long time ago. Anyway. Back in the day. But, so I had an iPhone SE, and I, even back then I hated modern iPhones, like I hated the huge ones, because I don't really like big phones. I find uh -huh. them really like ungainly to handle, and they're just, I'm not a fan of them. Um, but... I was I very much liked my iPhone SE because I really enjoyed the simplicity of it and I used to say oh, I don't want to have to you know have a phone that's like like my PC at home because I'll because then I'll have to like it'll break all the time and it won't work and blah 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 and I think that's certainly still true for some Android phones the thing about Android is choice that's essentially what you're yeah, getting with Android I suppose with an iPhone you get you have a selection of iPhones and you get the iOS operating system and that's it but with Android for example my Pixel 3 has a has a kind of it's based on Android, but it has a very different op, like look and feel to a Samsung phone, say for example, or a Huawei phone, or anything like that. Choice is essentially Choice. what you're getting with that. I, um, iPhones, you know, iOS, you got it, it's there, and I liked that at the time. I liked, you know, the simplicity of just knowing, you know, and then they start because of like they didn't really make the iPhone SE anymore. So when I was looking to get a new phone, I actually thought, do you know what I like? I think is more simple and more nice. I still like the simplicity aspect in some regards which is why I got Pixel 3 which a lot of Android aficionados this was like two years ago so it's, I didn't get the Pixel 4 because it wasn't out yet a lot of Android aficionados would tell you that it's a bad Android phone and I'd say it's not bad it's not certainly not as good or powerful or has a good camera or whatever as like other phones but for me it has a really good integration with the Google software suite which I use all the time and then B it's just, it's like simplicity, but with allowance for 
customization. Yeah, so simplicity with allowance for customization because it's got, and it's got the nicest looking UI, I think, but I can also jailbreak, not, I don't have to jailbreak it, mm -hmm. which is the thing you have to do on iPhone to download certain apps. I can just straight download them um, in little files and stuff and I can like access it a lot more. I remember how I like jailbroke my like iPod Touch 4th gen when I was yeah. like 11. <laughs> I think I wanted to, but then I always, for some reason thought I'll ask my mum first and she always said no because oh. she didn't understand what it was. I mean, it's a oh, really, my mum didn't understand what it was, so could, she said yes. <laughs> you could, you could, you could brick your your phone if you do it. Yeah. So it's a terrible idea. Just get an Android. But, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. So this has somehow devolved into the difference between iPhone and Android. Yeah, it's and now we now we swapped around. So I have an Android, and I'm I don't think I'd ever go back to iPhone because a I don't like the, the actual hardware phones they make because uh -huh. they're too big. I mean that's what it's an iPhone six. S or is it a seven? plus success success plus yeah like the iPhone not to mention the iPhone X or the whichever the latest one is costs like a thousand pounds I know it's for and my phone even though it at the time was top of the range and even the version of it that's brand new and top of the top I know. of the range I don't, is I don't only don't like seven hundred pounds particularly <laughs> enjoy giving money to Apple true either but with then, their Chinese well then everyone has I know exactly I mean, who doesn't have Chinese slaves these days <laughs> <sighs> I say slaves yes you mean but they're workers they're paid workers say it with me now there, there is, is no, no ethical, ethical consumption, consumption under capitalism, capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you white rose I said, why is it I don't know they might be like I don't get it I don't know they might be ultra communist and just they hate masks because like it's like well they're just they're what they're lib lefts they're just really libertarian yeah I mean essentially it's like I've well, I've seen a lot of arguments on Twitter recently about like in the communism circles about <laughs> about between the role of the state and, and anarchy the anarchists don't like this the the off rights without the getting to without getting on the tribe without getting ew, without getting too deep into it. I think humans are stupid and should not be trusted to oh, make yeah. their own anarchy decisions. Doesn't, anarchy doesn't really work. Anarchy only works if every single individual human is willing is to behave in a certain way. Yeah. But that way then... But then as soon as you get a bunch of humans behaving in a certain way, you're essentially already adding laws. Because there's may, it might not be a written law, but it's still a rule that, that yeah. society follows. Anyway, I, I, I don't think, think you're interested in no, anarchy discussions. No. Uh, we're almost finished here. We are. This is, it's this actually been... starting to get dark. I know. I bet it will rain and like. It'll I don't think. Uh, well, that rain cloud is very big, but it was supposed to be nice. Oh, I looked nice. at the sky and now my eyes have gone funny. I'm Probably still wearing sunglasses. I, there's no sun in my eyes whatsoever. Probably help. I take them off for engagement with the audience, but you seem. To I know. I, I put them on to look like look Ozzy Osbourne. Do you want to hear my Ozzy Osbourne impression? Go. Sharon. Sharon, somebody's Sharon. nicked my beer. What's that video? When he comes out of his room and he thinks someone's nicked all his beer, but he's just drank it. Have you never seen that? I don't know. Oh, watch that when you get home. It was at this point that the camera died. And uh, uh, we found this out only after finishing recording. So the rest of this, if you're watching on YouTube, is uh, an odd, it will return to the usual only audio only format. And if you're watching or listening on wherever you get your podcasts, then they'll just continue on as you've been experiencing it for the past 28 minutes. Um, sorry about that. Batteries. Insert it. No, we'll get a copyright strike from the Osborns. Don't insert it. I'm not sure that would work. <laughs> We don't want to ruin the experience for the audio listeners. We still want this to be a, an enjoyable podcast for audio listeners because we do love you. Oh yeah, audio and for listeners. audio listeners, I'm wearing round sunglasses. Yeah, and I'm not wearing any sunglasses. But I do have round eyes. I'm an anime girl. <laughs> anime boy. Anime boys and anime girls. <laughs> I, is that not a song? Is it's it? like an Avril Lavigne song or something. <laughs> Without the anime part, just the boys and girls part. It's like something boys and something girls. I may be making I don't that know. up. I may have just made the song up. You talk about something and then we'll check the cameras. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. One's dead. No. I don't know when it dies. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. How was it dead? It 
was on 52%. Well, for fuck's sake. Well, this may be just an audio podcast now where we came together for this, but I think that probably means it's time Matthew's to end. Matthew's phone died. <laughs> Matthew's phone died. This may now just be a... It may return to the normal YouTube format at a certain point. <laughs> but, um... Thank you very much for listening, as always. If you have any thoughts on what happened or if you want to maybe request more of these, we might bring a charger or something next time. Email us at wordswithoutwisdom, without knowing the wisdom, at gmail.com. Uh, thank you very much for listening. We do appreciate all the support and all the lessons and all the views we get. Um, every single one of you, because it's just a podcast, two mates chilling in the park, five, five feet apart, park because it's COVID. <laughs> but thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Sorry for the, the visual listeners if, the, if, the, if it just stopped. Um... And sorry for the audio. Sorry for all of you. Basically, if the video did cut out, had very little to offer. But we hope you still enjoyed. But thank you very much for listening. (laughs) Goodbye from me, and goodbye from me. And we'll see you back probably to the usual format next week. Goodbye.